Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeffrey Lyles, welcoming you to another edition of Lyles Figure Files. Today, Hasbro revealed its latest Marvel Legends figure. It's Gore the God Butcher, based on his comic book appearance. Just a few episodes back, I said, what would be great is if Hasbro decided to not have such a long, cavernous wait between having a figure show up in the MCU and then finally getting the comic book figure. We've got Whiplash, who's still waiting a comic book figure. And that guy debuted in the MCU back in Iron Man 2. So he predates Avengers. So he's been long waiting a figure. I'm sure there's several that I could go through, run a very long list. Mandarin, another one. But there's so many characters who've been in the MCU, get a figure based on their MCU appearance, and never, at least till this point, get a comic book figure. So that's why it's really cool to see a Gore the God Butcher figure coming out the same year as the MCU version. And that MCU version was it was okay. I mean, it looks like how Christian Bale's character looks, minus really great paint job, paint wash, paint detailing. But we've come to expect that with these MCU figures as of late. But this comic book version looks amazing. I mean, they've got the design just right. It's got the little scarf. His cape cloak is flowing. It's got those jagged edges, just like it appears in the comic book. It's got two head sculpts, one with the hood, the serene head sculpt as well. That looks great. And there's a picture with him kneeling and all crunched over, sitting, chilling, just like an actual panel from the comic book. So it's really cool to see him actually be able to pose like that. The other one has the tentacle head sculpt going, wild expression, perfect for those action shots. And it's great to have both expressions, that calm, neutral one and the angry, fierce, I'm in a fight, ready to do damage, ready to go kill some gods, head sculpts. Love that. I think the base book that they use for him is appropriate as well. He's still going to look really small next to that super sized Thor armored up version, but I assume and hope that Hasbro is going to bring out a version of that attire in a smaller book that works a little bit better with the other Thors we've gotten recently. Because the Thor from the 80th anniversary version, tremendous, one of my favorite figures that Hasbro's done in the last five, 10 years. So I think they use that for the newer Thor with the armored version based off the one that was fighting Gore, that would be perfect. But because it's Hasbro and because we can't ever have nice things all the way, there's a catch, and this one is pretty huge. This figure is going to be an exclusive to Amazon. That's not a problem. Amazon does a great job of stacking, stocking their figures, so it's not a sense of, oh man, it's all sold out after 30 seconds. There's no more figures anywhere to be found. The real problem is the figure is $29.99. And... $29.99, I'm kind of going, all right, well, what's in this figure that's so amazing that needs to be $30? So then we go to the accessories. I've already got that alternate head sculpt. That's great. I think that should be considered kind of a default. Here's the, the very least which you should get with all these figures now. And it comes with a necro sword. That's it. And I was looking at it, well, maybe there's some more hands. Maybe there's some dead god bodies lying around that they could throw in there. Nope, just two accessories. I find that a real problem because we've seen these figures go up from $22.99 to $24.99 to $27.99. And now $29.99. And I'm not seeing any added bonus. I complained so much last week about that retro card Ghost Rider figure. At the very least, that had the excuse of, well, it's on that retro card that you all love and care so much about. There's not a lot of accessories, but we gave you an extra Johnny Blaze head. We gave you the chain whip. And what else do you need? I gave you those little flame bits as well. Gore costs more and has even less than a $27.99 Ghost Rider. So I'm kind of figuring, wondering what the deal is here because... We can't keep losing things. We can't lose a builder figure part 
can't lose great paint detailing. We can't lose a ton of accessories, yet charge more. I think this is one of those cases where Hasbro's banking on Gore's popularity from Thor Love and Thunder. The fact that a lot of comic book fans were disappointed with the MCU version, the interpretation of him, and the execution of that figure. And here's like, this is the figure you guys really wanted, but do you want it bad enough for $30? And for me, that answer is no, which is kind of disappointing because Thor is one of those main Avenger characters that doesn't have this massive role gallery reflected in my Marvel Legends collection. We've got Enchantress, we've got Loki, we've got a few more characters, those massively oversized wrecking crew, but gore a modern villain to throw in there as well it'd be great but not for $30 I'm kind of going guys what are y'all doing to us if you would say like $25 and like hey here's the the exclusive component from buying it from Amazon maybe I'd go along with it maybe but I kind of feel like that's still asking way too much for a figure that should just be at best $24.99 what do you guys think about this? Is this ridiculously overpriced? Are you happy just to get a modern comic book version of Gore and you don't care how much it costs? Let me know as always in the comments. Then we did get an update on PulseCon, which has me excited. We're gonna get some more reveals from G.I. Joe Classified series, Star Wars Black series, Marvel Legends, but the one that I'm really excited about, just because I am I want to see more about this line, is the starting lineup figures. So hopefully they'll break out the NFL figures there. You can only hope. PulseCon is uh, September 30th through October 1st. So I'm already starting my countdown for it. And then WWE Legends, a Legends line that actually does have sales. Target has them on sale right now this week for $16.99. That's the Wave uh, 15 that has Lex Luger, the Chase, the NWO Wolfpack version, X-Pac and his DX attire, Stacey Keebler and Kane. So they're typically right now $22.99, but you can get them this week for $16.99. It's kind of on the fence, kind of like, eh, should I get X-Pac? These figures, these Legends lines at Targets have been clearance out to about $5.99 in some cases. So I kind of feel a little bit comfortable rolling the dice a little bit longer, waiting for a better clearance deal. But in a pinch, I don't mind paying $16.99 for a figure. At least that's a sale. And I feel like, hey, I'm not paying $22.99 for it. So that's it. All right, well, let me know what you guys think about Gore. Are you going to pick up any of these WWE Legends on sale? And if you're excited about PulseCon like I am. Thank you, as always, for watching this episode of Those Figure Files. Has been filed.